now turn to Jonathan Broomberg, the CEO of Discovery Health. Good afternoon, Jonathan. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. And you have a, a large, thriving company there. Well, what was the atmosphere like today when people started hearing the news? I, I think it was really very sad, uh, as, as are all South Africans and, and, and Madiba's admirers around the world. Uh, we started the day with a, a very, I think, emotional and moving note from Adrian Gore, our chief executive, who spoke about the, you know, his own feelings, and I think that was echoed by everybody in the company. So I think a very sad day for us. Uh, Jonathan, we've also spoken extensively about how Nelson Mandela touched every sector of the economy. What in particular has he done for the health environment, and how have you felt the Madiba magic? So can I say even before we talk about health that uh, I think to us uh, in the business world at any rate and maybe for all of us, uh, one of his great examples was uh, about how to be a leader, uh, a leader you know, that, uh, whose key hallmarks were humility and in a sense being a servant of the people rather than leading for his own sake. And I, I think that, that that example inspires uh, certainly me and my colleagues in Discovery, but I think if you talk to leaders in all uh, sectors of our society, they would tell you the same thing. And it's a lesson that uh, all of us in South Africa around the world should take more seriously. Uh, in, in healthcare, I think that, you know, the very early days of Madiba's presidency were marked by some very big, very progressive moves in health policy. I was personally privileged to be involved in those, and um, the First Minister of Health, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Nkosis Blamini Zuma, uh, you may recall, as early as uh, early 1995, announced the policy of free health care for pregnant women and children under the age of six, uh, you know, the move towards primary health care. There were a number of very progressive moves, and that was very much, I think, under his very direct influence. So, um, Jonathan, so uh, what are you going to do at Discovery to now um, when it comes to next week, this week of mourning that we face? Are you going to do anything to commemorate the man? I think we're in very much in the, in the process of discussing exactly how we can you know, give our people the opportunity to mourn him appropriately. Uh, we also have an obligation to our clients, our nearly three million clients, to serve them uh, you know, consistently and continuously. And uh, so I think we have to find a balance between obviously letting people express their feelings, but also continue to do our work every day.